Hey Booktube, it's Thea, and I am here with my August TBR. Um, this month I wanted to keep it pretty light and casual since July was pretty busy with Book Junkie Trials and the Reading Rush, and I got a lot of reading done in July. Um, but I just want to kind of take it. <coughs> but I just kind of wanted to have a really easygoing reading month. Um, I've got um, like three graphic novels and two mangas and then like one novel um, and then I'm just going to kind of play the rest of the month by year to see kind of what I am interested in reading uh, but these are definitely the things I have planned so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in. One of the things that I'd like to read this month is Sleepless Volume 2 by Amy Vaughn. Um, I actually just picked this up from the library the other day. I read Sleepless Volume 1 back in June and really enjoyed it. It's just cute little um, just it's just a duology um, about our main character, Poppy. She is a princess, kind of. Um, she is of royalty and of royal descent, and she's a woman of color, and she's super feminist, and it's been a really fun, enjoyable read. The first one I gave, like, four volume. I, the first one I gave, like, four stars, and so this is the second volume. I don't want to go too much into this volume, as it is a spoiler, but... I'm really excited to pick this up. I really, really enjoyed the first one, so I'm hoping that the second one is just as good, if not better. Plans to pick up The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Volume 2 this month. This is the manga adaptation of the Twilight Princess game, but I read the first volume, I want to say either two years ago or last year. Um, I read the first volume last year, I believe, and really enjoyed it, and so um, have decided to continue on with the series. Um, and we recently picked this up at Barnes & Noble, and so I want to pick it up and give it a read this month. One of the other things I'd like to try to read this month is The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, and Oracle of Ages. This is the Legendary Edition manga adaptation of these two video games as well. <clears throat> I've really enjoyed learning more about Link and Zelda in this form, and um, it's been a lot of fun reading these. I honestly don't know too, too much about these particular stories and these particular games. Um, this is just the next one in the Legendary series that we need to read, and my boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan. I'm not a huge gamer, but this is a fun way for me to kind of learn the story um, as well, so I am hopefully... I am really excited to hopefully pick this one up this month as well. The one novel that I know I want to read on top of whatever else I end up deciding to read this month is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This has been on my TBR since I started Booktube like three years ago. Um, I had a copy of it and got rid of it in the move um, and decided to pick it back up again. I found a copy at my used bookstore for like three dollars um and i know the sequel to carry on is coming out really really soon so i want to read this so that i can carry on so that i can read the sequel um i feel like i'm gonna love this i love fandoms i'm a huge you know, fangirl when it comes to certain fandoms and i feel like this is like the perfect thing for me i am still kind of in a contemporary mood because um september is going to be a huge release month for fantasy so i think i'm gonna want to try to pick this up um while it's still you know, summer and um, I think it'll be a pretty quick easy read everyone knows what fangirl is um, most people have read it and they either like it or they hate it I'm hoping that I really like it but I'm really hoping to get to this in August as well and the last two graphic novels on my TBR I've got Wonder Woman volume 6 children of the gods I read volume 5 last month it was alright um, but this is the last one that we own in the Rebirth series that I haven't read yet, so um, I decided to pick it up. I'm trying to get caught up on a lot of our graphic novels and try to just get caught up on a lot of back title on, on a lot of backlist titles. So um, I'm picking this volume up. I don't know. Um, I honestly don't know too much about this particular volume. I just know it's the next in the series, and. Um, the Wonder Woman run for Rebirth has been really good so far for the most part, so I'm really hoping to get to this this month as well. And then I also have Raven, Daughter of Darkness, Volume 2. Um, picked up this in July. This is the next um, this is the next book in the new Raven, Daughter of Darkness series. Read Volume 1 a couple months ago. 
it was alright, didn't love it, didn't hate it, um, but I've heard this volume is better, so I'm hoping to be able to get to this as well. Um, I read a Raven comic last month, and um, I'm kind of in a Raven kick right now, so I want to go ahead and try to pick this up this month as well. So here is my pretty casual, uh, easygoing August TBR. Um, I know I'll probably have time to read some other things, but this is what I know. I plan on reading at least this month and then kind of just play the rest by ear. July was a pretty successful reading month, um, but I feel like I was very overwhelmed with two readathons in the month. Um, and then September, I've got a fun readathon coming, and then September is a lot of releases for some big fantasies that I'm really excited for. So um, I just kind of wanted to take this month to be pretty casual and get caught up on some backlog title, some backlog titles. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these. What are your thoughts, comments, and opinions about them? As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!